So Tim, you're a C-level guy. You're the CRO of Happy or Not. You've been very successful in your career. There's obviously things that you look at um, to make sure that we're all doing our jobs correctly. What do you think that somebody in the grocery world, somebody that a C-level in a grocery world would be looking at uh, as far as KPIs are concerned and some of the things that we think we might be able to help with? Yeah, I think right at the top level, everybody's got voice of customer, you know, share of brand, MPS, etc. But I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to step out of the sea world and, and, and drill down a little bit to a bit that's a bit more interesting because you get kind of closer to the customer again. And funnily enough, we did some analysis, right, of our historical data. And I'm not too sure I'm going to get these numbers fresh in my head, but it's something like one and a half billion survey responses, feedbacks, right, across 100,000 surveys, across 4,000 customers, and lots of other big numbers, right? Mm -hmm. And we analyzed that from the bottom up using a bunch of technology that I obviously don't understand. And what we found that was interesting is that all of the questions that our customers had chosen to ask when they were trying to seek answers in their business fell into three categories. Mm -hmm. And we categorize them as people, products, and presentation. And that may sound surprising that they fall into just those three categories, but when you think about it, those are the three things that you can change. Operationally, they're the actionable components. You can help your people. You can give your people training. You can give them you know, better break times. You can give them better rostering. You can do lots of stuff at the people level. It's one of the huge variables you've got mm -hmm. in business. Possibly the biggest one, actually. Right. And then products or the service. So, you know, in a retail environment, do you have the right product range? Are there products that are missing? Is your replenishment strategy appropriate? You know, are you keeping pace? That's all around the product. And then finally, the presentation side. So, what does the store look like? Is it on brand? Is it clean? Is it well presented? Is it on the button? If you're in a C store space, you pretty much got restrooms or the restrooms places that you want to go into. But everything falls down into people, product, and presentation. And to confuse the three Ps, actually people comes around again. Mm -hmm. So our smartest customers roll this out in a way where they recognize that their staff are so important in delivering this service that they actually use our devices in the back of house to ask survey questions of their employees, mm -hmm. their frontline staff about what they're getting from the company to allow them to deliver a good customer experience. So it's basically three Ps, but one of them comes around a second time. So not four Ps? Not four Ps, we'll stick with three. <laughs>